Hi there, Eric from Quarter Band Guitar Studio, and I'm really excited that you decided to reach out to us and talk about guitar lessons. Before we ever even sit down, I want to give you a little advantage here and just talk for five minutes about something very simple but really crucial to your guitar playing, and that is your pick grip. So how you hold the pick really is going to matter. What I've found is that a lot of beginners just don't find a comfortable position with the pick. So I would say probably half of them just don't ever try to use it. And they wind up doing weird things, just strumming with their thumb or flicking their fingers or just doing some crazy, crazy things, right? Now, there are some people out there that will tell you, well, hey, just do what feels right. Yes, that's okay. But what feels right now is probably not going to be the absolute most efficient way to play the guitar. How could it be, right? If you've never played guitar before, the odds of you stumbling upon the most effective way to do something, pretty low. So let's just get it right the first time rather than spending, I don't know, a year and a half developing an ineffective or inefficient way to hold the pick. So let's talk about what doesn't work first. What doesn't work, I think, is trying to really tightly grasp this pick, right? So if I make a fist, there's going to be problems there. Like my whole arm is going to tighten up. But if I'm making a fist, well, it doesn't really make sense to tighten up. I want to move with control. And if I'm tight, really hard to do that. So the other issue that then happens if I make a fist and hold my pick like this, I'm actually going to drag a lot of my knuckles across the string. The other thing um, that I think almost everybody does that we want to avoid is what I call the smelly sock grip, right? So I don't want to hold my pick like it's a smelly sock. Oh, right between these two fingers, kind of pinch it and then hold it away from me, right? I don't want to pinch it between these two fingers. The reason then is I, I'm going to lose stability, right? If I hold the pick actually against the print of my finger rather than the bone, print, bone, I lose stability as the pick kind of wants to twist around anyway. We also want to avoid having multiple fingers touch the pick. Now, you might think that two fingers are more stable than one, making a little tripod here. You might think so, but that becomes very difficult to balance because where's my thumb? My thumb is pushing back right in the seam between these two, making that pick kind of twist. And we also don't want to kickstand our pinky or do tea time pinky, right? This is what I call the pinky kickstand is when I kind of get a decent pick rip and then stick my pinky out and then just kind of float there. Well, why not? Strain, strain strain. I can feel that all the way up from here. I feel it in this joint right here. I feel it in my wrist and I feel it going up this side of my fore forearm as I relax, gone. Okay. So that's the things we don't want to do. What do I want to do? I'm ultimately just going to make a really soft fist, right? So if I start with a relaxed hand, I'm taking my right hand here. So for right-handed players, this is going to be your dominant hand. So I'm going to hold my right hand real soft, like, and then I'm just going to make a soft fist. That's it. Just making a little soft fist. I'm doing that just by kind of flexing my fingers, right? I'm not doing anything at the big knuckle joint, just kind of flexing my fingers halfway down. That's about it. And I'm going to allow all of my fingers to kind of touch one another. See that? All my fingers are touching one another. Also notice that all four fingers form a straight line. I don't have any below another, right? If any go below, that's what's going to hit the strings before my pick actually hits the strings, right? If this is my strings, what do you see hitting, right? So my fingers are going to brush across the strings. We don't want that. So Putting my fingers in a perfect straight line like this is going to do two things. One, it's obviously going to prevent them from brushing across the strings. But two, more importantly, it actually helps stabilize this pick. So what's going to happen? I'm going to just take a little pick here and I'm going to get my pick grip, make a real soft fist, okay, real, real soft, real casual. And I'm going to take my thumb and I'm going to have it come to rest against this bony part, the outside part, not the fingerprint the bony outside of my first joint, right? See that where that first joint meets of my finger? It's going to meet roughly there. And you're going to see that my thumb is going to bend a little bit. Notice that my thumb is not going to go crushing in. What's happening there? I'm going to get closer to now. My thumb crushes in, and now it's losing stability, right? Now I'm back at dirty sock grip, and I'm losing stability there. Now I'm back at two fingers, and I don't have the rest of these to balance, okay? So the fist, curve the fingers ever so slightly. I'm going to let them all touch. So this one is balancing into that one, balancing into that one, balancing into that one. My thumb just lightly pushes back and I can slip the pick right in there. Now, how far down do I go? Notice the pointy end goes towards the floor. How far down do I go? Well, most picks have some sort of writing on it. And I'm going to try to cover up that writing as best I can with my thumb. So the more I have sticking out, the less control I'm going to have. So as I'm plucking across the string, if I have too much sticking out, you can see my pick is going to get stuck before it releases the string. Just like choking up on a baseball bat, the lower I go, the more control I'm going to have over that. It doesn't require really any squeezing at all. It's just enough squeezing, 
barely squeezing that at all. You can see I can shake my pick and it hasn't come flying out at the camera yet, right? So I got perfect balance on that. I'm not squeezing. That's going to keep my hand light, swift, agile, and free from tension. If you don't have a pick yet, not a big deal. Just take a quarter and you can kind of practice that right now. Any coin will really do and just get a sense of how does that feel, right? Getting used to just kind of balancing that in your hand, that shouldn't require any kind of squeezing. Whatever you got to do to keep that quarter from falling out, that's actually more pressure than you'd ever need uh, from a guitar pick because it's just a thin piece of plastic. Then what do we do? Soft fist, get these fingers in a nice straight line, very soft. And then I'm just going to press the tip of my thumb near the first joint of my index finger. And then I'm just going to slide that pick in there real nice, like pointy in goes down. And we're good to go. I'm looking forward to meeting with you. Hopefully you found this helpful. I'll see you soon.